Hi guys, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a colouring chat from Summertime Fun by Deborah Muller. Um, first of all, quick disclaimer, I just want to say that this is an adult channel and the videos on this channel are made for adults and in no way of shape or form made for or aimed at children. Just to let you know, we'll be colouring with markers today because I just fancy colouring with my markers for a bit. So we'll be using the Arteza Everblend and the Touch New Skin Tones. I can find the one I use. And we're going to colour in this book. So we're going to colour this page of the lovely lady in the little floaty thing. I don't know what it's meant to be, but we will be doing it bright pink. I'm just going to get this right. Turn that down a bit. That's it. Lovely. Better. Let's zoom her in. Here we go. Sure, yeah, baby beige. Right, let's do it. So, hi everybody. How are we all doing today? Is that in the right place? Yeah, I have good. Um, hope you're all well and things are going well where you ever you are in the world. Um, everything's fine here. Slowly uh, lifting lockdown in Wales from Monday. We can travel further than five miles. Um, Non-essential shops are now open. And we can travel five miles, but Monday we can travel further. So, for instance, if I wanted to go to Cardiff, I could. I'm not going to. If I wanted to go to Newport, I could. Guess what? Again, not going to. Paul's downstairs listening to music. You can probably hear that. And that's fine. He likes his music. Well, who doesn't like a bit of music, eh? I know I like music. So he's listening to some music. And just doing that. And I'm up here making videos for you. I have got quite a few videos in the in the can, so to speak. And one of the reasons I'm doing a lot of filming is I've got a lot of um, uh, things that I can use for the first impressions videos. So I'm just filming those because obviously it's my first impressions. Although you'll probably be seeing those every Monday, I think. And we'll try and do colour chats every... Sunday, Wednesdays, Fridays. They're the only ones I want to be filming in the week, colouring chats. Everything else I'll be filming on the weekend. Because I really want to crack on with my eBay and try and get some stuff listed. I've had some fairly decent sales the last couple of days, so I really want to get some stuff listed and photographed and I, I do tend to do that at night so while I can film at night after I've done my photographing it does mean that I've got it is getting late when I uh, I get to it so That's it really, that's why I'm doing it. So I'm still watching this new channel I found, which is, well, she's been going for a while, but it's Laura Jane Atelier, and she does a, a vintage one. Um, if you watch, I'm not going to do it in this video, but if you watch the weekly vlog, like, tomorrow Monday that's the only other thing that'll go up on a Monday is if I do weekly vlog that go up but that's an extra video so that'll go up on Mondays regardless of whether or not I'm putting up a first impression so you're going to be getting two videos on Mondays you are lucky I'm still working on my Crayola video but I'll be leaving a link to that 
um, channel in there. I am going to have to start making notes of everything. I'm going to be leaving links in those vlogs because I do forget. I'm terrible at forgetting. <laughs> I really am. But you know, she's really good. So I hope you're all all okay. And colouring loads. I have got so many whips on the go this month. It's already. It is unreal. And it's just because there are so many pictures I want to colour that I'm thinking I'm just going to start them all and colour the bits I want to and have done. And then if I finish them, I finish them. I mean, in part of it is because I do, I'm doing the Crayola one, the budget friendly one, which is the Crayola pencils. And I'm doing the first impressions videos. And I got more pencils on the way. So, uh, there'll be loads of those coming up. Excuse me. Because of the, um, because oh, because I'm doing them the uh because I've bought some more pencils and it is a, a big set of pencils that's come in so it's going to be at least two videos possibly three it'll probably be two and then I finish I'll just finish it off off camera and show the end of it and in the final thing but I've got a lot if I include this one I've got this one a metallic picture a mandala a three one downstairs, four, two downstairs, five. It's more than five. Six, because I've got Chris. Yeah, about six or seven, I think. And I've got one from my whip pile to finish. Because as I said, I'm trying to finish. I'm trying to get rid of the whips that have been hanging around for a long time. So I might try and do a bit of that tonight once I've done this video. But you never know, might not. It depends how I feel. I'm not sure whether I'm going to film another video after this one. I might do. I might do a flip through. I've got a flip through I want to do soon. Hear the music downstairs. <laughs> Hopefully it's not going to affect the video because it's you can't really hear what it is. You can just hear the bass. But uh, that's fair enough. Paul... He does love his music and I don't blame him. He doesn't get up to listen to music very often because Jennifer wants the TV on all the time. Normally she wants Andy's Dinosaur's Adventures but today she was back to waffle. I ordered her some clothes today. One of the clothes I ordered it was a waffle t-shirt, so I'm sure she's going to love that. It's coming tomorrow. Colouring books. I have ordered the new Hannah Lynn one that is coming tomorrow, so I will be filling, filming a flip through tomorrow night. So that will be up in the next day or so. Probably go up Tuesday. Because it's a new one. I don't want to be putting three or four videos. Of it. I could do, but then... The whole point of the flip throughs are that they, they, I can put them up on days when I haven't got anything or if I can't film for any reason, you know, I can put up a flip through instead. I've got loads in the can. Today, which is Saturday, I'm very, very busy. If you watch the weekly vlog, you'll see. If you don't, you won't. So I'll just give you a quick recap. We've done a lot of um, cleaning today, kitchen was already clean it was just a matter of washing up and wiping the sides down I cleaned the fridge out today and then cleaned the bathroom properly give it a good going over which we like to do and then I went for a walk and I got up late today I got up really late I had a really long night in it was nice and then went for a walk with Jennifer which was lovely So, I pulled some orders. I've still got two more to pack, and I'm still waiting on 
payment for two. So that's that why I want to get my eBay up and go in again. I don't, and I, I'm surprised I've had as many sales say on the last week because I have not listed anything new for the last week. Because I've been on holiday and had I actually been on holiday, away like we were supposed to be I would have put it on to um, holiday mode and not listed anything anyway so We would have just, you know, I wouldn't have, and it would have been on the same settings, 10 day dispatch, which it's on, and it has been because of social distancing aspect. And with us both working from home, Paul does the, um, drops it off. And so, what was annoying though, is that I had four sales for, to one person, and they all came through literally after you, left the house just 10 minutes after he'd left the house had he waited another half an hour probably could have got all those sent off as well but uh yeah didn't work like that it's not as pink as i wanted it it's more red no, it's all right there nice bright one there's color in chat so sadly back to work on monday i'm not gonna lie i don't want to go back to work I'd rather stay off. So our charity shops are now open, but um, the nearest one to me is still overpriced. Nobody's, the, you know, you'd think they'd want money coming in because they haven't raised any money for the charity for the last, was it three, four months? You'd think, what, three months? They'd wanna, they'd put a sale on. Oh no, they still got the same old stock in there that they had when they went into lockdown at the same old horrendously high prices. So for instance, they've got a men's super dry grey shirt. It's just a plain grey shirt. There's nothing special about it out there. And it's 18 pound. So I think they're a bit optimistic on that, but yeah, they might sell. But obviously I always try, I like to go to the pound shop. I don't even know if that's open in, in Newport. In a couple of weeks, we might venture down there. I don't know if the Kingsway Centre car park's open. I, I don't know. I would have to have a look on the Kingsway Centre website to see. But of course I would do that if I was thinking of visiting. But, I mean, I'm alright for stock at the moment. I don't really need to buy anything. I've still got two bag loads of clothing to do. I've got some other bits up here that are in a bag I need to go through and sort out. There's a pair of shoes, there's some jewellery. We've pulled a load of our own personal DVDs from the shelves. So we're going to see if they're worth anything. And if they are, I'll put them through my business account and just sell them. It's all towards the business. That's nice. But... Uh, That's all it is, so you know, it's just about having fun, really. I, I like to make the money, the money goes into savings accounts, so all, all get saved at the moment. So, Jennifer's asleep in bed, lover. She got up late this morning. I got up, and I, I, mean, I, I don't normally sleep in very late, I'm usually up about half seven eight but today I slept in till 10 o'clock to be fair I've been going to bed later this week because I'm on holiday um and she had not made a sound even Paul was like thinking is she all right because normally she's up chattering at eight o'clock if not before but um I got up because I was thinking oh my god is she okay went in and she was just lying there chilling out and as soon as I walked in she's like all right mommy I think we'll get up yeah. 
come on then give me your unicorn back please she's so cute but uh she's fine so that was a relief and like i said we didn't start then got up had breakfast woke up had my cup of tea had my breakfast cracked on big time did all the washing up from last night because we left it because we had curry from to take away and then we did the quiz did all that wiped the kitchen down cleaned the bathroom like i said sat down and had lunch with jennifer washed up again put it all away had a shower and then after I'd had my shower, because he got dressed, went downstairs, took Jennifer out for a little walk, packed my items, I've still got some to do like I said, came in, did dinner, washed up, watched Big Mac with Jennifer, Jennifer was dancing, I won't tell you I didn't stop all day. Good though, might help me lose some weight, which would be nice. I could use to lose a few pounds. I said I'm getting into this old vintage lark again. Mm. And I am. What she needs me, I'd love to get some vintage style dresses. I never fit into a vintage dress these days. Once I could have, but uh, you know. I have ordered, because I've been watching this lady, this uh, Laura. She did, uh, uh, the first video I saw was Jean Harlow products, product beauty products Jean Harlow used that you can still buy today. So for instance, you can still get some of her, the perfumes that she liked. But apparently she used to wash her hair with a particular bar of soap and I can't remember what it's called, I'll look it up. I know they used to put Lux Flakes on when they were bleaching it and stuff like that. And, uh, But that's wrong one. She apparently, and I've never read this. I've read loads about Jean Harlow. It might be just because I haven't researched enough about it. But I think it's worth trying anyway. Apparently used, and I might even ask Dal Rooney, who's a big Harlow expert, if this is true. A bar of soap called Kirk's. and it is a bar that you can wash your hair with. You can use it on your face. Mm -hmm. Kirk's Castile, Gentle Castile Soap. Now, it's very expensive over here on Amazon. So I'm, I thought, do you know what, I'm treating myself. I never buy myself anything like that. I never, you know, do that. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna treat myself, you know. Just add, answering a comment to one of you lovely people out there watching the videos um yeah so it's called kirk's apparently so i might have read it once or seen it somewhere but maybe she advertised it i don't know but i thought you know what i'm going to treat myself and try it um somebody posted the other day that the shade of lipstick that marilyn wore in something's got to give is still available it's called i know they have discontinued some of them revlon moondrops hot coral i can't get it in the uk so i'm gonna ask one of my lovely American friends if they could send me one over because <laughs> I would really like it um, it says it's temporarily out of stock on Amazon but you just don't know whether that's going to be true or you know whether they're going to go back in or not so what's that colour honey yellow that's used on her hair no I think I should give her give her a different colour hair what colour hair should we give her no, we will because we can use orange for the sun, orange and yellow. I don't know, I'm just colouring. I don't plan colours at all. I really don't. I just get in and colour. Because for me, it's that's how I relax. I relax by just going, I'm going to do it this, like this. The only time I plan colours is if I'm doing something like... Um, the budget friendly ones I mean the colours on that I've I haven't picked them out for the Crayolas that I'm going to use um though I'm currently filming it I've done the skin it takes me ages to do these videos because I get waylaid by other videos and other things 
um, but yeah I need to um, to do them so I will she's got some lovely hair here um, but I, I kind of know what colour I'm going to do her hair and her dress and all the stuff I know what colours it's going to be I've just got to pull them out and sharpen the pencils because they're actually up here Jennifer doesn't seem to have missed them because they're up here at the moment <laughs> rather than in downstairs with Jennifer's pens and crayons but they will go back down there at some point I just like I like using different brands and crayons are okay so maybe I'll do a bit of the Crayola video tonight it depends how long I, I want to spend on this I'm enjoying this. It's quite pretty. Fun. And Deborah Muller's books, some of them are fun. I don't like all of them and I, I'll only buy the ones I really like but I thought this would be a fun one because it's summertime and I can't go on holiday so this is the next best best thing. So this will probably just take up two colouring chat videos. So have I been watching anything? No, not really. I am still reading one Autumn in Whitechapel by M.P. Priestley which is about Jack the Ripper, still reading that. I am reading a fictional book called The Jack the Ripper House which is by Amy Cross. We've read some of her supernatural stuff before so I thought oh, it'd be interesting to read in that as well. I've got a biography of Cary Grant on the go which I've got finished because I said I'd lend it to my mama. My mum said she'd like to read that, which is fair enough because she likes Cary Grant. Of course, he came from my hometown, so. Ooh, fluorescent chlor coral for this flower, I think. I just pick random colours and. Oh, yeah, it's very summery, so I quite like that. So, yeah, I'm getting back into the vintage style. I've got to be honest, I don't go anywhere to wear makeup at the moment. So. I might put some makeup on on the next weekly vlog. Obviously I've got another day because I, I do do film every single day because I like to do that. There we go. Right, my phone's buzzing at me. Yeah, nothing interesting about the look of it. I'm going to use a light yellow on the... No, I won't use that one. So I'm working my way through everybody's uh, colouring videos as well. So um, people who are doing their... Um... Oh God, what is it? I can't think of what they're called. Completed pages and hauls from last month. I'm trying to work my way through them, so. Yeah, I'm trying to work my way through it. Takes me a while because obviously Jennifer likes to uh, control TV during the day, and I don't really get a chance. I'm trying to. I want to watch some films again. I just don't get the chance to to watch the films. So. Which is a shame, I've got so many films on my TiVo box to watch and they're recording all the time and uh, I just don't get to watch them which is a shame mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Excuse me if I start singing the theme to Waffle. It's because we've had, it's on all the time. Very annoying. She does love it though, and you can't. I could turn around and say no, turn it off. Because, you know, when we were kids, we didn't have TV all day or catch up. We did, they were video recorders, but we didn't have one in our house until we were older. Because um, we just couldn't afford one. So you watched what was on when it was on. And uh, there was no, there was sort of cable, there was sort of um, Sky or whatever, British or BSB or British satellite broadcasting as it was called before Sky bought it. And then it came BSB, British Sky Broadcasting, and then it just became Sky. But, uh, yeah, I mean, back in those days, it was a little bit at lunch. And then... It was a little bit of, but you had like an, about an hour for kids programs at lunch and then you had um, maybe two hours, four till six or half three to half five in the afternoon. And that was it. So, and there was no catch up, so you couldn't sit and watch one program over and over again and binge watch like we do today. I do wonder how she would have coped back then. Or I wonder how we coped, because if I just said to my mum, I want to watch this, I want to watch this, and like, well, it's not on, you can't watch it, tough. We're like, what? You know, that's what. And, you know, we do turn it off like we did when we wanted to watch the Big Mac, so we switched it off, and she was upset for a bit, and it was like, well, no, we it's time for adult stuff now, we're watching. We're watching stuff now. And then, of course, it was music, so that's okay, because she loves music and she just wanted to dance. So we did dance for a bit, and oh my God, I'm knackered. <laughs> I will sleep tonight. Which is fine. I don't mind that. I love the seeing her so happy and smiling. It's, that's what matters. She's a, a lovely kid. And she... You know, some people like watching the vlogs with her in and some people probably don't. So, but that's why I do those ones just because, I mean, like I've got family in New Zealand and my sister-in-law watches them. Um, it's how they can catch up with Jennifer and how she's growing up and stuff and see how she's changed. Whereas, obviously, saying that, Claire has watched the colouring videos as well and she actually said to my mum, I can't believe I just sat there and watched Andrea colour a picture for 40 minutes. <laughs> Nobody made you clear, hun. I'm glad you did. But you didn't have to. Nobody made you. I just think that's so sweet of her. So funny. <laughs> she said she... gonna turn itself off in a minute or so so I'll put it back on we will do a bit longer I think Paul's finished with the music now I can't hear anything yeah there's a lot of stuff I need to list I've got like I said I've got, still got a load of clothing to list I've got a load of cameras to list I've got some games to check through I got all the DVDs we've just pulled Paul's going to go through his CDs soon, now we can get to them and anything he doesn't want we'll see if they're worth bundling and the money then just adds to what goes in the house renovation fund which is coming along nicely. Um, it's just because we want to do our living room out so we can get the the new turntable. I know you can't see what I'm doing but there we go. Um, and the 
shelving put up for new it's stocked. <laughs> I was going to go with the Calax 2x4 but I'm actually going to go for a 3x4. <laughs> and you can't see what I'm doing uh, again because I'm useless. Never mind. Not useless. Just hopeless sometimes. They have the phone. That is probably just a, either somebody paying for something on eBay, somebody buying something on eBay, somebody sending me a question on eBay, or possibly even just Facebook. Just in case I do like to keep an eye on it. Let me just see. Facebook, somebody mentioned me in a comment. I will look at that later. Because uh, it can wait. Sometimes if it's something at eBay, it might be important. So I like to keep on top of it, even when I'm on holiday or on the weekend. So it's been a weird holiday. I've enjoyed having a week off, I'm not going to lie. But it's still weird not having not gone very far than to... We've gone for a walk up to my mum's and... We've gone down to my... Uh, gone up along the canal and, and those usual places. But that's about it because there's nowhere we can go. I think he's just being cautious. I think he's right to be cautious. You've got places like Leicester which are being locked down again because of the... A spike in cases, the, the R number, um, the reproduction rate in London has gone up over one now and I know he had to get the economy started and I'm not saying he was wrong but I don't think he was right either and theatres are very suffering badly and it's like you can open up pubs but you can't open up theatres whilst with her. People who go to theatre are more likely to be sensible and careful and wear masks and take precautions than people who go to pubs who get drunk or drink and they go, oh, you can have two pubs. Basically, some of the Weatherspoons pubs were packed today. People were getting thrown out of pubs. So it's not... that people are, that people are being careful. They're not. They're going being stupid already and it's like really do you want to end up back in lockdown because the pubs can't afford it the pubs can't afford to go back into lockdown I'm actually hoping that my local will be able to open soon I think they've said the 14th, 13th or 14th of July 14th I think um, as, but only outside areas so it's only going to work if the weather's nice because people aren't going to want to stand out in the rain. But we'll see. I mean, my local pub, literally, it's on the canal. And we walk past it every time we go for a walk. So if it was open and there was space for us to have a drink outside, he'd have to open his garden, which he would. He usually has it open all summer. Then, yeah, we would stop for a drink. I'm not saying we wouldn't. We would, we would stop and um, get a pint and... have a drink but we, we're not people who drink a lot I can see some people behaving very very stupidly and going mad and drinking to just too much um, just to say they've been out and they've got the, gone to the pub and stuff I, I couldn't justify it it's too dangerous it's not fair on other people. I mean, I'm fairly healthy. I do suffer from asthma, obviously. But it's been okay lately. I'm not going to lie. It's been fine. I've, I've been fine. I'm taking my medication as prescribed. I'm taking it all. And I'm being very careful. But at some point, we got to go back out there. I mean... It is hard to know what to do. Um, it is going to ch the world is changing, and it's a scary change. And it, the world's falling apart around us. I mean, I am upset about the theatres because my I have a lot of friends who work within the arts. 
and they're not getting any assistance at all. And the government has not paid a penny to the theatres that are in trouble. Um, yet more people go to the theatre every year than go to Premier League football matches. It brings in a lot of economy. And you could say, yeah, but it's not essential. It is essential because if, if the theatre wasn't on, what would you be doing? If there wasn't actors, people, nobody acted, what would you be watching every day? What would you be doing? What would you be watching? What would you be doing? You know, obviously the TV programmes. They can't film at the moment, some of them. So, you know, if they can't film, obviously they can't make episodes of Casualty or EastEnders or Coronation Street has started refilming, I believe. So I got somebody, I know somebody who works as an extra a fair bit for them. And, um, but just say that, you know, all the films you watch on TV, most of those people started out in theatre, acting in theatrical productions, whether it's what they call summer stock in America, we call uh, amateur theatre in the UK, or, um, and go to drama school it's going to disappear if we're not careful it's, we're going to end up back where we were 100 years ago when only the elite could afford to A, go to the theatre and B, be involved in the theatre and that is not a good thing we don't want to go back there we, we've we made such strides with diversity in theatre that in the last 60 years and it can it should be getting even more diverse but it's not it's not going to if there's no money at the moment places like the national the national theater is laying off staff places that theaters that normally do a christmas show like a pantomime or a Christmas musical. They're saying, no, we're not doing them. They're cancelling it because you think, well, Christmas is a long way off. It, yes, it is. But they put, they start investing their money into it in July. So this month is when they invest their money into the Christmas and seasonal programme. If there's another wave and they shut everything down, with the amount of money they would have put in, it would be instant bankruptcy from the most, most majority of theatres. Now, a small theatre like the Dolman, which is an amateur theatre, is owned by an amateur company. We, they're probably not going to have too much of a problem, I would hope, but I don't know. Battery is just dying, I'm going to change it over and I will be back. Okay, there we go. We'll do a bit longer. We've done 38 minutes. I'll put that battery on to charge later. I mean, I miss... What do I miss? I mean, I was thinking, it just feels like this has been how it's been forever. Working from home's nice. Being with Jennifer all day is lovely. Um, I'm quite a solitary person. I'm, I'm quite happy being on my own. I, I don't mind the, um, not going out much. But I do miss some of my friends from work. And I do miss going to restaurants for a meal. I miss the cinema. There was two films we were going to see in the cinema this summer. Possibly even three. Of course, that's all gone now. Um, hopefully, they will open up and I'll still be able to go and see the film I want to see. They were The films I wanted to see were Wonder Woman 1984 and Ghostbusters uh, Afterlife. But uh, who knows? I know they've given that, they've changed the dates again. So. But with places, I mean... The rates are going up horrendously in the States. But we're just going to have to deal with it. I think it's just one of those things that... What they're trying to do is make sure they don't swamp the hospitals. And that was achieved. We did not swamp the hospitals. The hospitals remained within capacity, which is great news. What was, what was needed to be achieved was achieved there. 
Now the problem we've got is if there is a surge in cases in the winter when you've got the winter flu flu virus as well. That's that's my, what might cause problem they think. And um, so it's just a matter of seeing what happens. And I think we just all need to be very careful, very mindful and think about not just ourselves, but everybody else. The people who are more vulnerable, who perhaps can't afford to stay off home from work because if they don't go back to work, they're going to be made redundant or their company is going to make them redundant because they're refusing to furlough them anymore. But you could go back to work. Um, people on zero hour contracts self-employed people yes they are helping but you've got to pay that back I mean I'm lucky that my job has been fine I had one week off while they were well, I, I decided to go into isolation because of my ass and I was a bit worried then I was very worried at that point um, and my company was fine with it and then they like everybody else, we're told they had to close the building and they arranged for people to work from home. And people are happily working from home. There are a few people who would like to be in the office, I'm sure, because there are always a few people who like the aspect of going somewhere else. But I think the majority of people are enjoying it. Um, and later on, when things settle down and we get back to normal, it will probably be that some, we will still be allowed to work from home a bit. And we'll take it in turns to go into the office, which is great. Yeah. But my office is closed at the moment until October. 1st of October is their date where they're expecting, they're thinking of letting people back in at 30% capacity. Which is not many people. It depends on how they're doing it because they were rearranging things downstairs to cram more people in. They were putting more desks in um, because they, the company's expanding and the, the set out was great when we were a small company, but now we're getting the bigger and taking on more work. They're rewiring and putting in smaller desks so they can get because our desks were massive, we didn't need that much space really so they can get more people in into the particular areas. So of course now that's all gone out the window because they can't do it, even with the pods we had. You're looking at a pod of maybe 15 people and they'll only be allowed to have something like five people in. So although our desks were massive, they still weren't two metres apart. They were barely, they, they weren't even, if I was sitting at my desk, I, well, I wasn't one metre away from my next door neighbour. And then of course you've got the person opposite you and they, you know, it's a very complicated um, situation. And you'd have to assume that everybody works the same way because for instance, I like my stuff set up on the right hand side. So yes, I'd probably be fine from the person on my left who would like they set up on the left because they're right-handed whereas I'm left-handed because it gives me more space then for my left hand but then I'm closer to the person who's in the other desk so it's, it's, not an, it's not an easy thing to decide on what to do so we'll just have to see how it goes but I think I know, my, my manager, she likes working from home. She said she'd love to stay working from home as well. I think most people would. I really think most people would. It's just one of those lovely things. Working from home is just, it is nice. It, it's hard with a child in the room. But uh, obviously, I mean, I, it's not worth me taking to the nursery that she used to go to simply because it's too, I wouldn't be able to get there and get back. It's, it's, it would be a waste of money for me because I'd lose money traveling to drop her off because she goes to a nursery in Newport, but, which is literally, which is great when we were in office because it's literally opposite the office. 
but I would never get back in time for my shift. And I then, when I finished my shift, I wouldn't be able to get to get her in time to pick her up by the end of her session. So it's very odd. It's very, but it's nice having a phone. But she is, she doesn't like us working. She wants us to play with her, and that is understandable. She is a young child, and she has suddenly got her mummy and daddy at home all the time. I think I'll do a bit of the sun, and we're going to use the Tuscan sun one that I was going to use. If I can find it. Where is it? Tuscan sun. Oh! For part of it, and then we'll use a We use oranges and yellows for it. This is going to be a nice one to to do, I think. I'm enjoying this picture. It's quite nice just to chill out and do it and. Pumpkin orange. Mm. Right, fancy a pumpkin orange sun. Let's just do this bit. Just do these little bits coming out of the sun and then we'll call it a day. And I'm probably just going to watch a few videos and go to sleep, maybe colour a bit of my um, first Christmas in July picture I'm doing for I'm doing one in um, currently doing one in Jade Summer Christmas Volume 3 because I didn't colour it in it at Christmas and while I said I didn't want to colour much Jade Summer I did say that anything that was whips I got one whip in a Jade Summer and anything that's um, Christmas was allowed other than that there's no Jade Summer this month so it was fun though doing all those jades for Jade and June, I will admit. I enjoyed. I think the thing with the Jade Summer books is they are decent enough books. So people moan about the paper, but I don't have a problem with the paper. I use felt tips in them, I use alcohol markers in them, I use pencils in them, and yes, there are some pencils that work better than others in them. But generally, I don't have a problem with the paper. And it's just finding the best technique, I think, for each paper type. Well, it's not brilliant paper, but it's, it could be a lot worse. Well, it's not that thin newspaper type um, paper that they use in kids' colouring books like Jennifer's Cart. I mean, although I was dead jealous of her My Little Pony one I bought, so I went and ordered a My Little Pony colouring book. There will be a few colouring books. There will be a haul at the end of the month. It won't be as big as last month, though. So obviously I've got the colour in heaven. I've got some, I've got those markers. I've got some markers I got, the metallic ones. And I've got uh, the pencils come in. And there'll be a few other books. Like I said, I've got the Hannah Lynn. I've got the My Little Pony. A couple others in my cart as well, but I'm in no rush to order. Colour in heaven is out next Wednesday. Before this stuff happened, I was receiving it the Saturday before, but now I seem to get it the day after it's released, which I don't have a problem with at all. Right, I'm going to leave that for tonight. Let's have a look and see what we've done. We've done a good part of it, and we'll finish it off in the next one. So this is about 45 minutes, which is fine. Sorry, I'm yawning. So this is what we've done so far. This is um, obviously in... Um, Deborah Miller's summer, Summertime Fun book. It's a really sweet book. I, I actually quite like this book. Like I said, I, I like Jade Summer's art, some of it, but I don't like all of it. It's really weird. So I don't like all the books she's put out, but that doesn't mean I can't enjoy the ones that she puts out that I do like, and I do like this one. Like I said, I've got Full Friends and I like that one. I've got Girlfriends I haven't coloured in that yet. 
I got a, I've got a few now and I do enjoy colouring in the ones I've got. But like I said, I'm trying to dent, make a dent in my um, uncoloured books. There are so many of them. I've got a stack to colour in. I'm looking at the moment. Anyway, that's enough. I'll show you all that in the weekly vlog. Um, you'll actually, you might actually see that tomorrow when I uh, do with my filming, my final day. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this colouring chat. I've rambled on for long enough. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment uh, down below in the um, comment box. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I really would appreciate it. I'm getting close to a thousand. I just want to break the thousand because that'd be nice. Yes, it means I can add, put ads on if I want to. Um, but uh, it'd be nice to break that 1000 mark. Um, and I'll see you all in the next colour and chat. So have a lovely day. Enjoy whatever it is you're colouring and I will see you soon. Bye guys.